Shall my head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me, and I will offer in his tabernacle sacrifices with trumpet sound. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I call with my voice, and be gracious unto me and answer me. In thy behalf my heart hath said, Seek my face, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Cast me not off, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. For though my father and my mother have forsaken me, the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in an even path because of them that lie in wait for me. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine adversaries, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and as such breathe out violence. If I had not believed to look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I want to say what an honor it is to be with all of you here and also to recognize even on this week in which the president will come to Israel that it's still very difficult for many people to come to the holy site and it's my prayer as I come here with you that the holy sites that you and that I embrace will be accessible and that we will not have to come in the dead of night in order to come and to pray and to seek the Lord's face. It should not be that way. And I hope the day comes when the freedom for God's people to come and to pray is uninhibited and unhindered by any violence and by those who would seek to prevent you from being able to say this prayer, that you could do it in the daylight, in the sunshine, and not in the darkness of night. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, General. It was beautiful.